Today we're taking a look at Bomb Burgers Declaration. Uh, this is the 2024 edition. We're doing all this for them? We do it for the people. We're I do it for the people. people. I don't know about you. Brandon's a man of the people. That's what he is. Brandon. You not so much. No, I'm, I'm totally a man of the people, yeah. 100%. As always, our name is Steve. The people. What's up guys? Brandon, Steve, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we previously looked at uh, 2023. Yeah. We, we were, we were impressed. pleasantly surprised. Yeah, yeah, we were impressed you with know? that. Yeah. Um, Cause I think sometimes with these, so this is obviously, this is from Michter's. Yeah. The good people at Michter's. Good people. Big fans. Really good. <laughs> All right, let's get in there, dude. All right. So yeah, so this one is 108 proof. Yep. And yeah. while you're looking at that, I'm going to pull up last year just, just to see what the proof is on that one. This one is 1856 of 2008. All right. So I must be stupid because uh, this one is also on 108 proof, the 2023. They might all be 108 proof. They probably are. They probably are. So um, yeah, you'll tell us that in the comments, won't you? Somebody, somebody will let us know. Um, I'm assuming that when I look it up too, they're all going to be 108 proof. So um, we might just do a little comparison between last year's and this year. See if uh, the last year's still around, maybe pick that one up instead of the new one. We'll see. Thank you, sir. It's very floral. It is. Hmm. But it smells. See, it didn't smell that floral out of the bottle. It does I now? I will say. Yeah, once you get this. And... Yeah, it's, um, I, I hate to say like a, like, like a meadow. It's like a meadow, like walking in a meadow. I graphic for that. I know you do. You use it a lot. This is a uh, very muted. Not say. not much going on on the nose as far as unpleasantness. It's, it's very pleasant, very mild. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it's uh... smells dangerously dangerously drinkable. Mm -hmm. Like you could just drink this for days and not even know it until until it hits you. It. Like I said, it it smells good. It. That first nose that I took from this after sewing it there, like you said, it was very floral. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not as much anymore. I'm not getting much sweetness. Um, not getting much vanilla on this. No. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Okay. Man. It comes, so it's 108, right? Oh. That drinks a lot hotter than 108. Am I wrong on that? Am I just getting weak? I think you might be getting weak. Oh my God, I burned my tongue. <laughs> Are my hot drinking days over? Wow. Might be. I mean, it's good. You're getting older. Man. I like burn me. <laughs> it's good though. Really, really good. It is. It's very good. It's just packed with flavor. It's um, some of that quintessential vanilla is coming through that you get on bourbons. Um, the vanilla, you know, I think you're always, yeah. It's one of those things, we, we always talk about that, like the vanilla and the caramel always kind of usually come through with good bourbons, right? Yeah, it's just um, a, that's like a prerequisite. Right. Um, you know, now, now, now smell it. It's not, it not, not, not nearly as floral as it's not, it's coming It's out. gone, yeah, maybe that was just when we popped right. it. Hey. Don't say the neck pour bandit. Why'd you have to remind me? Damn neck pour. It smells so good. Now. It does. It's um it's opened up it's opening up as we speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that and the to me the heat like I said, I get the heat, don't get me wrong. But to me, it is at that, that, you know, we, we talk about our sweet spot is around 110 to what, 135, 137 you know? Yeah. yeah. Talk about some of the, the really hot ones that double oak is up there, right? But that, this is 108, so it's just below that. But to me, you know, yeah, I could see, you know, yeah, it's got that heat, but it, I would definitely say it's, it's, to me, it's on that lower end. 
I know you were saying it kind of took me back a little bit. To me, it's drinking like like a 120, 120 bourbon. But again, I might just be getting, getting old. This is kind of a drier bourbon. I mean, that 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 um, that woody note is coming through for me. That I walnut, um, the peanut shell kind of aftertaste is there and dries you out a little bit. Um, yeah. But it is complex. It's um, it's not very sweet. Like I said, it's just, it's kind of dry, right. but um, it is it is really good. So let's get into this last year and see. Obviously, this has been open a while. Of course not. It's all right. Um, we'll see. This one had a chance to open up. Maybe it kind of smooth it out a little bit. Not that that wasn't smooth. Yeah. See now, smell this one. This is uh, the nose on this one is um, completely different. Totally different. And that's just. I'm sure that's just the it's it's sitting been, and opening. It's been open for like eight nine months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, uh, I mean, it's... That nose is so much better than this. It really is. And, um, and I'm assuming that'll get there eventually. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it will. And the, and the thing is, taste-wise, I got nothing bad to say about this. No. To me, this is this is great. It's got that it's got that heat. I know you're saying it tastes a little hotter than, than the 108. Yeah. To me, it comes across, like I said, that lower end, that 110. You're just, a better, you're just a better man than me, Brandon. That's all I can tell you. you. You can handle it. You can handle the the, the hotter stuff. I'm, just, I'm getting old. Hey. Even though you are older than me. I was about to say, that comes with that those, what, year and a half, that year and a half extra. That you got on me, yeah. And, but you don't have all the white hair. Well, I'm surprised I don't. You do have a child. I do have a three-year-old. You, know, you do have a baby, 50, yes. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that puts <laughs> a lot more age on you, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, see, the nose is just so much more muted on this. I mean, it's it a is. good nose. It's just, uh, it's just vanilla to me. Mm-hmm. Are you ready to get in there? Yep. Cheers, guys. Hey. Yeah. Prost. What is that? It's German. Going, we're going through the countries. Prost. Whatever Brandon said. Let's do that. Yeah. Definitely not drinking as hot as that and again that's got to be because we just popped it yeah, uh, yeah that, that, that does drink like a 108 mm -hmm. well to me to me it comes across lower because like i said i was thinking this was coming across as like 110 yeah i mean this comes across almost like 100 okay yeah i'm definitely getting and it's, um, and it's it is so good though it's it really because it's packed full of flavor it really is it's not the oakiness still there mm -hmm. that that vanilla note is still there um, and you do get, you get that, you get that, you get a little bit of that heat, you know, still. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The heat's there. Um, yeah, I'm just getting like dark fruit notes with this, um, mm -hmm. plus the oak. So that's, that's what I'm really getting. That's what's really coming across. But yeah, the, it is. it's way more muted as far as the alcohol content to well, me know, versus that, that. When you compare those two, this is definitely... You know, basically, it's the same thing as this. It's just been opened. It's, it's, it's totally it's a little bit yeah. more muted. It's got a little bit of that. You know, it's got a little bit more sweetness on it. Just this is a of, little bit more peppery. Just, mm -hmm. and I think it's only because, like we like we said, we just opened it. Right. I think once it mellows out, it'll be exactly the same because yeah. I'm it's the same mash bill. Mm -hmm. Everything is the same. Yeah. Same proof. Mictors, Mictors is just great at yeah. putting out product that's year after year, it's just awesome. Um, the Mictor's 10 year, whenever I can oh. see it and afford it, which is never, uh, I like to pick it up because oh, I know it's gonna be good. It's amazing. Um, yeah. And I can say the same thing about these. These are these are outstanding. Uh, quality control again, and, and we've talked about it before in other videos that some of these distilleries, whoever's in charge of their quality control is doing an amazing job. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're just not, they're dismissing barrels that are not good enough for their for their products and, and they're not bottling those up just because I wanna make money. So uh, Mictor's is doing it, I mean, yeah. Uh, now again, would I pay uh, 220 for that? No, nah. hell no. I got it for 160, which is still high. Right. I think the value on this is probably in the 120 range. I would pay 120 for this. Yeah. 160 seems high. Like yeah, again, yeah. there's hell. This uh, Thomas Handy that I picked up last year that I was able to get in a, a raffle. I was I got it at MSRP. I paid 130 dollars for that. Um, so yeah, 160 for this seems steep. You know what I mean? So would I pay that again? Probably just because I want to review it.
Right. But uh, I'm not happy about it. Like, I just yeah. think it's probably $120 bourbon. Yeah. Um, but again, you know, you know what you're getting. You're getting, you're getting a great product. So I'm not disappointed in, in, in putting that out there. And again, it's for you guys. And I, honestly, the first time I ever tried this was in a restaurant. Yeah. And I was pleasantly surprised. So this you do see in restaurants. Um, yeah. Some of the more higher end steakhouses maybe. But this is a, this is a good one to get. Just yeah. neat or on, on ice, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, but uh, this would be a good one to pair with a steak, honestly. Yeah, it's agree. so good, it's not super hot. I'd pay $30 a pour for that in a restaurant, for sure, you know, if yeah. you're already out there anyway. Um, some of the other stuff that's, you know, $80 a pour, hell no, I'm not doing that in a restaurant. But this is a very, very good bourbon you're getting for like 30 bucks, if you can get it, so. Yeah. Um, be on the lookout, man. That's yeah. all I got. Well, we appreciate it, guys. Uh, please subscribe, like, share, all that kind of stuff, comment. Yeah. Let us know if you've had a different experience with these. Um, Let's know about the shanks too, because yeah, I don't really get the shanks. We we yeah we still haven't done that. Um, but if you compare the two, let us know if you think the shanks is better. Yeah, I'm curious, because yeah. I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to get one. But I'm well, just gonna take your word for it. Well, we can find one. It. It's just not it's just not gonna be at the price we wanted, right? Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Cheers.